Hello and welcome dear students, learners and professionals. Welcome to the another topic that is dissolution test apparatus, its types and the applications. So mainly we are knowing about the dissolution apparatus 1 and 2 that is basket apparatus and paddle apparatus because those apparatuses are routinely used. But there are total seven types of the apparatus as per USP. These are used as per the doses form requirement. So basket apparatus is type 1 apparatus. Type 2 apparatus is paddle type apparatus. This is basket apparatus and then paddle apparatus. Then USP 3 is reciprocating cylinder. It is also known as biodis apparatus. Then flow through cell is the USP 4 type of apparatus. Flow through cell. Its name is flow through cell and it is a type 4. Then paddle over disc. This is USP 4 apparatus. Sorry, this is USP 5 apparatus. Rotating cylinder is a USP 6 apparatus and reciprocating disc is USP 7 apparatus. So don't get confused between the reciprocating cylinder and reciprocating disc. So cylind reciprocating cylinder is USP type 3 and reciprocating disc is USP 7. Flow through cell is 4. Paddle over disc is 5. Rotating cylinder is USP 6. This basket type apparatus or USP 1 apparatus is also co called as rotating basket. So don't get confused between the rotating basket and rotating cylinder. These all apparatus are having their specific use as per the doses form. And mainly for the oral solids, the apparatus up to type 4 are used. That involve basket, paddle, reciprocating cylinder and flow through cell. Out of these four, mainly the basket and paddle is widely used. And out of this paddle and basket, paddle is the most widely used apparatus for the formulations for oral solids. Here the pictures are given for USP-1 apparatus. It has the basket and that basket contains the formulation. The formulation may be tablet, capsule or granules or pellets. And generally 40 mesh basket is used. And it rotates over this shaft. This is the medium. Here you can see the actual picture. The tablet is placed in the basket and dissolution is running. This is the basket and this is the apparatus. So this is basket type apparatus. It is USP1. Basket type apparatus is a basket is a cylindrical in shape and is constructed from non-reactive mesh. Generally stainless steel is used so that it, it can prevent any unwanted chemical reactions that may alter the final result. USP-1 apparatus is commonly used to evaluate the dissolution performance of oral solid doses forms, mainly tablets and capsules. This is also called as or also known as rotating basket apparatus because the basket rotates smoothly and its rotating speed must be in form with the USP. So generally 100 RPM is used and volume of media may be from 500 ml to 1000 ml. Dissolution testing is done by basket type apparatus for immediate release, extended release, delayed release formulations, some of the floating type of formulations. Floating type of formulations may be capsules and RPM is generally 100 RPM. When you consider the bioreleuance, 
the basket apparatus mimic the stomach movements then coming to the apparatus 2 that is pedal type apparatus it involves the pedals so the apparatus which is used for basket that same can be used only these pedals can be replaced so these are the pedals and the tablet is kept inside the bowl this is the dissolution bowl or vessel it is hemi spherical in shape and it contains the dissolution medium here you can see the hemi spherical space the pedal is used and rotated at certain speed in the media this pedal rotates and it gives the hydrodynamics to the media that means the movement to the media so that the doges form get dispersed or the drug get released usb2 apparatus is commonly used to evaluate the dissolution performance of oral solids mainly tablet capsules that may be ir er or dr type and pellets and also for liquids suspensions and solutions are the doges form which are tested by this pedal apparatus mainly suspensions are tested by pedal apparatus volume of media is 500 ml to 1000 ml and sometimes the pedal apparatus may have a bowl with volume more than 1000 ml and these apparatus have the different length of these pedals dissolution testing of immediate release er formulations extended release formulations delayed release formulations and floating formulations can be done with this pedal type of apparatus generally rpm is 25 to 100 rpm see 25 rpm is generally used for suspension type of doses form forms and from 50 to 100 rpm is used for other doses forms like tablet and capsules if you see the bioreliancy of this apparatus it mimics the intestinal movements and when there is a problem of floating of the formulation these sinkers can be used to enclose the formulations so that the formulation can be set at the bottom and it its floating can be avoided then coming to the usp apparatus 3 this is reciprocating cylinder this is the internal cylinder it has a top cap and bottom cap the formulation is kept inside the cylinder and this cylinder is attached to the reciprocating shaft and this is the vessel of the medium so the internal cylinder dips into the external cylinder and it shows the reciprocating movement that means ups and downs and this is called as dips per minute how much time this cylinder goes into the solution of or dissolution media and comes out so that movement is fixed that distances are fixed as per the usp requirements and this is the usp3 apparatus the usp3 apparatus is mainly used for sustained release type of formulations this is also known as biodis reciprocating cylinder apparatus this is used for testing the doses forms in an environment where the ph or gastrointestinal changes that occur in the body are simulated see in this the formulation can be tested for certain time into the acidic media and the same formulation can be taken to the another media it is suited for extended and sustained release type of formulations and it gives more information about the bioreliancy because it simulates gastrointestinal conditions with simple programming that allows the in vitro dissolution pH profiling with bioreliant agitation rates and retention times like the stomach environment and the intestinal environment so in this apparatus the dips per minute is there instead of the rpm it is useful for rate uh, release rate testing of floating doses forms beads and some of the chewable formulations 
then coming to the usb4 apparatus that is called as flow through cell apparatus these are of two types mainly closed loop and the open loop sortex apparatus is there and some of the soft gelatin capsule formulations are tested by this flow through cell it is generally of two types open loop and closed loop so the medium reservoir is there and pump is there it pumps the media through this cell that's why it is called as flow through cell type of apparatus and the collector is there so whatever the media is coming out of this cell that is tested for the drug release and here the flow rate is the important factor like rpm and drips per minute in the usp3 so here flow rate will be there it is made up of media reservoir to hold the dissolution media a pump that forces the media upwards through the vertically positioned uh, flow through cell that holds the doges form here is the doges form and water bath to maintain the cell temperature this temperature this uh, cell has some temperature that is maintained and the fractions are collected every 30 minutes testing of both conventional doges forms like powders granules tablets capsules enteric coated tablets suppositories and also injectable suspensions and novel drug delivery systems are tested by this flow through cell type of apparatus it also covers the testing of modified release products certain implants and stents then it also can test the dissolution of drug coated medical devices and also some of the soft gelatin capsules so sotax usp4 flow through cell dissolution systems are there and this information is taken from their website usp5 apparatus now coming to the usp5 apparatus you can see here it is like paddle apparatus and the name is paddle over disc so this is the paddle and this is the disc here also it is shown that the disc is kept into the vessel and this is the paddle so paddle over disc name is given the paddle over disc is modified version of method 2 that is apparatus method apparatus paddle 2 and is used for the determination of drug release rate of transdermal patches so as we have discussed earlier up to usp type 4 the solid oral formulations are tested and after that mainly the other formulations are tested this usp 5 apparatus is described in the usp and ep also the transdermal delivery system being attached to the stainless steel disc so here it is attached which is then placed on the bottom of the vessel directly under the paddle that's why the name is paddle over disc it has a shaft and also has a disc assembly that can hold the product in a way that the surface can be leveled with the paddle the paddle is joined with the disc assembly and its volume capacity is 900 ml around so this is like paddle apparatus and same setting can be used for this type of apparatus by using the usp1 and usp2 type of apparatus then coming to the apparatus 6 that is called as rotating cylinder so these are the cylinders and these rotates that's why the name is rotating cylinder this is the rotating cylinder this is also used for some transdermal formulations where the transdermal formulation is stick to this surface of the cylinder and that cylinder rotates here is the medium here is the transdermal system and this shaft rotates and release the drug so the rotating cylinder is very similar to usp method 1 that is rotating basket with the usp method 6 however the basket assembly is replaced by the solid stainless steel cylinder so now if you purchase a uh, dissolution apparatus usp 
you can have advantage of usp2 usp5 and usp6 apparatus only you have to purchase these accessories the cylinder consists of two parts that fit together the main shaft and cylinder assembly plus an extension apparatus 6 usp is an alternative method for testing of transdermal patches usp method 6 and it is also known as phur method 3 employs the same dissolution equipment as method 1 simply substituting the cylinder stirring element in place of the standard basket the rotation speed normally employed is 100 rpm the element is designed to accept the various sizes of patches so based on that accessories and the requirement of the transdermal patches size the accessories are utilized and dissolution is performed for transdermal patches using apparatus 6 then coming to the apparatus 7 it is known as rotating cylinder or rotating holder so this is the apparatus these are the holders or this is the rotating disc usp 7 apparatus that is rotating cylinder or holder are used for doses form requiring change of media smaller volumes or more vigorous agitation extended release tablet capsule transdermal patches osmotic pumps and atrial strains are the formulations which are tested by this usp 7 apparatus the standard apparatus has seven reciprocating positions for each of the six rods with 100 or 300 ml outer tubes the holder has a stroke length of 20 ml and agitates at 50 to 40 dips per minute so here also dips per minute is there like in usp apparatus 3 following a designated time period the doses form is transported from one row to the next and can be programmed to move in a fresh row of media up to six media changes so you can relate this apparatus like uh, usp3 apparatus it simulates the bioreleven condition of skin gi tract and tissue required for transdermal oral drugs and implants with bioreleven temperature agitation rates and retention times so you can change the temperature agitation rates and retention time wherever the requirement is there as per the requirement of biorelevance or biorelevant simulations the usp apparatus 7 supports typical volume configurations of 50 100 and 300 ml so this is regarding the usp dissolution test apparatus mainly the basket and paddle apparatuses are used understanding of the dissolution test apparatus is very much important for understanding the dissolutions and understanding the method development so the apparatus and their applications are always asked in the interviews for making this video i have referred agilent.com site dissolution accessories lab india site sortex site usp ep and pharma guideline.com along with some other literatures available publicly so thanks for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to pharma learning dev channel for more such type of informative videos thank you